folks, it's Pete from Rail Manufacturing. I'm here at the HITS Conference in Dallas 2016. I'm with one of the originators of the HITS Conference, yeah. Jeff Myers. Uh, if you would uh, just kind of give me a little bit of background on how you uh, came up with these conferences. Well, myself and uh, uh, three other business partners came up with HITS uh, 10 years ago now. Uh, basically, we just thought there was a need and a little bit of a void for a very large seminar in the market. So there was a lot of uh, smaller working dog uh, seminars around the country, but it was somewhat fractured. So the more we talked about it, the more we realized that in other parts of our industry, you could go and go to a very large investigator conference or a large interdiction conference, but not a large canine conference. So the more we envisioned it the very first year, it was a couple hundred handlers, and it's starting to come into fruition what we what we thought it would be now with nearly a thousand handlers. So we got with this conference, we're nearly a thousand. We're about yeah. nine hundred and seventy. Something, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So we're we're way up there. Exactly. Um, what do you guys offer that's different than any other uh, conferences that are out there? Well, there's a there's a lot of good training out there, but we try to always be. Um, we have more vendors, more people, you know. So there's a little more networking. One of the more unique things that we do is we've made this a law enforcement conference. So. It's, it's law enforcement, it's owned by, by cops and one prosecutor, it's for cops, and we, we keep it for law enforcement. So there's a, obviously there could be a bigger market if we allowed like civilian, uh, you know, hobbyists or whatever into it. That's not our market. Our market is geared towards the professional police officer who works the dogs. So we, it makes it uh, easy for the cops who are here to be able to relax, it's easier for the uh, instructors to know that they're, they're, what they're, the material they're teaching is going to the appropriate audience. So it, it's just that's one of the we're one of the few that w that uh, uh, we actually have to turn some people away right. and tell them there's other conferences for them. This just might not be the one for them. Now, what are the uh, other the venues that you look for? What, what, like, I know that all the ones that I've been to, uh, the hotels have always been outstanding. They've yeah. been like the area has been really fun. Yeah. Like Jacksonville was a blast. Yeah. Uh, all the surrounding yeah. areas that we got to go to here, yeah. in Dallas yeah. uh, has been outstanding yeah. as well. So, what do you guys look for? Well, you know, first and foremost, our our purpose here is education. Right. So we we have to have very good classes. Then we have great vendors. We have a great vendor hall for the networking and to learn all that. But also, there's an experience here. This is time away from for officers. It's time away from their their families. Time away from their homes. So we don't want to do it at a dumpy little hotel in a dumpy place. So we come to we find nice hotels. We negotiate very stringently with the hotels to keep the room rates where the you know the working dog handler who's, who can get that approved. You know, if the room rates were three hundred dollars, that might be for the executive part of the. The department right, but right. but in our pay grade we need to keep the room rates low so we we keep the room rates low but we still find fantastic hotels where places where you and i nor, would normally stay here exactly. <laughs> so. also i've noticed too is that these conferences have been uh, all over the country we haven't just been you know one centralized location it seems to really kind of rotate around correct kind of like spread the wealth if you will correct you know so like a guy from the west coast he's going to be able to go to a conference or a handler from uh, the East Coast, she's going to be able to go. Correct. Is that the, the game yeah. plan? It, it's, it's, again, you know, what we saw was kind of a void for this type of opportunity. So it would be easier logistically for us to pick one city, one hotel, sign a 10-year contract and do the same thing over and over again. But then we're going to start getting the same people all the time and it, it might get a little bit stale. So by moving it around, it brings the opportunity all over the country for local people who don't get to travel because right. some, some agencies the idea of sending their officers on a plane to another state to do training just doesn't happen. So it gives more local people the opportunity to come to this event, plus also for our vendors who are the you know backbone of this event, brings them a lot different people constantly coming to it. So it just keeps it from being stale. Now, what other types of classes does HITS Consulting do? HITS, uh, through our, we have, through our uh, company, the, there's three dog handlers who we combine with about 100 years of experience between the three of us, plus our uh, other partner, Ted Dow. So in our company, it's myself, Jeff Meyer, Jeff Barrett's the other partner, Ted Dow, and Andy Wyman. Okay. So uh, Andy, Andy Wyman, Jeff Barrett, and myself have about 100 years of experience handling different types of dogs. Ted Dow is a, bit, a longtime prosecutor. So we're able to do some legal classes, some classroom classes that are one day and two day in the legal realm, both in uh, record keeping for a narcotics dog and search and seizure rules for narcotics type dogs. And then on the hands-on part of it, we do about any type of training you can think of, detection classes, bomb classes, narc classes. We do on the patrol side, we'll do 
uh, power collar classes, e-collar classes, we do apprehension classes, decoy classes, officer survival classes. We have a wide range of, of classes that we'll train in hands-on environments. One of the things I've noticed too about uh, your conferences, is, and, and I go to a lot of different conferences throughout the country, is that you rarely do we ever see the same instructors. I mean, there are some, but they sure. might be teaching a different class sure. this time. So sure. we don't get repeat instructors. So uh, sure. how do you, how do, is it because of your network, and as long as you guys have been in, are you finding these instructors? You know, luckily our, uh, right now, our, this is a good event, and we, we treat the vendors, or the uh, instructors correct. So they, we, we pay our instructors. So some of these uh, places that, that are doing similar, similar to us, they don't pay their instructors. They tell the instructors, you got to pay your own way, you got to uh, pay your hotel, and then you can get in front of people and do an infomercial if you want. We do the opposite. We pay our instructors, we put them up, we're our, they're our guests, and with that we ask them, we will ask them to teach a class that's for us, come up with a new class, come up with a class that you're only teaching for us. So it's, it's a polar opposite of the business plan where, where the, we're, we're bringing them in and we're asking for new stuff and it keeps it fresh every year. So sometimes, like you say, we'll have the same instructor teach a different class. Sometimes we get different instructors, they come back every year. Because of the reputation and the way that we do the event and the instructors know how they're going to be treated and, and the response they're going to get from the people here, we're in the fortunate position where we have to turn down about maybe 10 instructors for every one we take every year. Now, um, where's next year going to be? We're going to be in San Francisco okay. the last week of August. Last week of August? Yeah, 2017. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time, yep. Jeff. Thanks, Pete. Thanks we'll for your support. Okay.